Good day, good people. Welcome everyone. It's Rusty Money here on PlayStation Network and Rusty Money Gaming on YouTube. We are here on Maple Farm by Cavalier Roy for Farming Simulator 22 and we are here on PlayStation 4. So, uh, we are here on Maple Farm because I'm going to be doing some videos and live streams later down the road for a new challenge. And this new challenge that I'm bringing to my YouTube channel is called the No Tractor Challenge. And it goes a little bit something like this. It is created by Warco Entertainment on YouTube and shared in my Facebook group, Farming Simulator Challenges, as well as shared in my Discord. So here is the No Tractor Challenge. There is the No Tractor Challenge. As the name implies, you cannot buy a tractor. You'll need to come in on Farm Manager mode on any map you choose, buy your land, and then buy the following kit. One bit of your kit is used to lift items. So you can purchase either a skid steer, a front loader, a wheel loader, or a telehandler. Then you also need to purchase a harvester with headers, a trailer, or the equivalent. Another bit of kit to run the farm, whatever you want, but not a tractor. From there, buy what you need to run the farm, such as cultivators, weeders, sprayers, seeder, etc. You then will need to build your farm if the map that you choose doesn't already have a farm. And get at least three arable fields and harvest them at least three times. You also can have one animal pasture down at your start, anything you like must get this to full capacity and sell a full trailer of produce must end with a turnover of one million in the bank must use at least one production method and sell a full load of this production so for instance if you have a greenhouse you must sell a full load of strawberries lettuce or tomatoes or whatever else your production point might hold sell or produce I mean <clears throat> and then if you have any loans in this challenge you must have them paid off before you finish and again this challenge is map of your choice farm manager settings economy normal all other settings optional you cannot lease in this challenge and you cannot borrow equipment you can work contracts and you can also do logging Excluded mods for this challenge are government subsidy and power tools. So that is the challenge created by Warco Entertainment. And we are here on Maple Farm, Farm Manager Mode, Normal Economy. And the only settings I think I have off, we'll look at that. Let's see. I'm going to try and do this. Uh, I shut the traffic off for now. I might turn that on later. I'm going to do this with Seasons, I think, possibly, because I've been playing the game with Seasons, and I just enjoy it. I'm going to do two days per month. And <clears throat> have the fixed visual month off, snow on, crop destruction off, plowing on, field stone on for now lime required on and weeds are off because I just not having much fun with weeds and seasons and then the rest of the settings uh, that's what I have there all the helpers are shut off and everything else but this is the land that I'm going to purchase, and then I'm going to purchase my liftable piece of equipment, and then from there I'm going to do a jump cut and bring you back in and let you then see what my starting equipment will be. So if we go here into the PDA, 
This is Maple Farm PDA, and what I'm going to do is I want to buy this farm. And on Maple Farm, when you buy the farms, there's seven farm locations here on Maple Farm. This is one of them. This is the second one. A third one right here. A fourth one down here. A fifth one right here. A sixth one right here and a seventh one right here when you purchase these farm locations you just purchasing the farmyard and as you can see these red rectangle shapes those are your animal pens you can purchase those separately from your farm Okay, so for right now, I'm going to purchase uh, this farmyard for 36000 And I'm going to do cows. That's what I want to start with anyway. So we're going to buy that for 47000 And then production point. The production point that I'm going to choose to start with is down here, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm going to visit. I want to visit uh, the grain mill. So we'll go right here and visit the grain mill. Okay, I purchased the grain mill for 96000 And we are going to go into this right now. And we're going to go over here. Uh, let's just click on that. We're going to rename this. to the creator of this challenge. He's going to own my grain mill. Okay, so we'll select done. So we got Warco's mill right here. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the shop. Alright, now I'm going to buy uh, I'm actually going to buy two bits of kit, everybody. So first is going to be the liftable item that I'm going to use, and then uh, a tool attachment. Alright, so we have ourselves a new haul and a telehandler. It's going to be my liftable piece of equipment. And then I'm going to buy a item to see if it will attach to this. Possibly two items. We might buy two items right now here for a second. Okay, so we got ourselves a forestry mulcher and a front lifter. So we're going to do something here that I also want to do before I jump cut you to the rest of the bit of the kit and take you up to the farm. I'm also going to do a few changes to the farmyard. And I'll explain you, uh, explain to you all how I'm going to conquer this map and what I mean by that because uh, this map here, we are already at 1,222 of 2,600 slot count. So, <clears throat> I will discuss my plans with this map with you. But we're going to go over here because there's a little something I want to see if still works. That is a spotlight there. That's what Cavalier Roy referred to him as in my first look live. 
and we're going to cut that spotlight down and remove the stone walls on the roadways of the map so we're going to we don't own this piece of ground and it worked voila we didn't even have to buy the piece of ground because we bought a mulcher and now the stone wall that was out here in front of the store and everywhere along the road is now gone but we are go up here to the farm show you where our farm is and uh, we gotta buy our field jet too before I buy my equipment so we'll see you up at the farm Alright, well, we are here at the farm now, everybody, so we are going to show you, uh, landscape mode, what this farmyard looks like. We're going to purchase our three fields, and we're going to name our dog right here. Our dog's name's going to be Roy. For the creator of this map. So we got farm dog Roy. Alright, now here is our farmyard, everybody. And here is my plan with this farmyard. When I decide to have enough money, we will be purchasing the chickens and also doing chickens on this uh, location up here. But we have to buy those separate, like remember I said. And then over here, we're going to sell this cow barn. And uh, this, let me see, that one. Yeah, and then sell that manure heap as well to help drop down my slot count. We also will be selling this animal pen when I get enough money to purchase that, as well as that that uh, animal pin right there and then I'm going to sell a few buildings on this right now and other silos on this farmyard so to start things off I don't want this silo here we're gonna sell that whoa I do let me see I do want that shed I think I want that shed we're gonna sell this uh, silo and we're gonna sell this little shed here and we're gonna sell this silo our liquid fertilizer tank I should say and then we are going to sell <coughs> this shed here I think let me see now do I want to keep that one I might keep that shed for right now we're gonna keep this shed and we got a silage bunker right there so we're gonna sell this shed I believe that one right there which is gonna open up to that pin there but we ain't gonna be having those animals we're gonna get rid of that fence and then I'm going to sell um let's see how do I want to do the rest of this I think we'll sell this shed right here ooh that might actually go with the cow barn so we can sell that one right there and oh we could sell this silage bunker and we 
we might sell the shed right there and then we are going to let's see I can't sell that one no that must be purchased with uh, this cow pin then okay can I sell that manure heap because I ain't gonna need that one manure heap we're gonna sell that to get that gone that goes with that okay now I think that opens it up a little bit uh, now I don't have a silo so I gotta figure out where I want to put my farm silo uh, but we need to buy our three fields now so that opens it up a little bit now if I cut down this post right here it will delete these decorations so anything these spotlights right here are pointing at on the map will delete delete what it's pointing at so also there should be a spotlight over here by this stone wall it's over here on the other side of that animal pin it's right here as you can see it's pointing at that wall this stone wall so if we cut that down it will get rid of that stone wall which eventually we probably will do okay so that is that and then these hedges have fence posts in them if I cut these fence posts it will delete out that hedge line now I just need to decide where I want to put my silo so let's uh, let's just see here um, we're gonna hold on the silo for now let's get out of the build mode alright we're gonna purchase our uh, fields so we're up here and our fields look like this right now so on this one is animal pen this is animal pen pasture and this is animal pen so we're gonna try and get let's see how much 83 is hundred and one thousand don't want to spend that much sixty six thousand there <clears throat> okay let's see and grass fields don't count we gotta have three maybe these three let's see what this is how it is thirty eight 51,000, 87 is 59, and 88 is 38. So let's buy those. We'll buy these three as our fields. And because I'm going to be doing cows, and I bought this animal pen, I get this grass pasture 90 which I can cut the grass out of that <coughs> excuse me so that is what we are gonna start with what I really wanted to start with uh, for production was this biogas plant on this map and the biogas plant area is right here but it costs 1.5 million in production so my plan is everybody I also plan to purchase this farmyard over here down the road in this challenge as well as this farm over here and if I remember correctly how I wanted to do this was is this this farmyard right here will have pigs this is the pig pasture right there and then over here on this farmyard I'm gonna buy the chickens which is right here inside our marker area right there and then I'm gonna buy 
Um, which direction is it? Right here, 99, I think. This is the sheep. I'm going to buy those. So we're going to have all main animals as well down the road. And then what I'm going to do as a plan is I'm going to allow myself to purchase other farmyards around this map and sell the items on those farmyards to help drop my slot count as well and use my land that I purchase to my advantage. So that's what we're going to do. But for now, I'm going to leave you here and go back into the farm. So let's get in our telehandler here. And I need to go buy some more equipment, everybody. So once I get the equipment bought and moved up to the farm, I will bring you back in and show you what we have. So I have a hundred or hundred. I have 1.2 million dollars to spend in equipment purchases, and hopefully I don't spend too much. <laughs> and hopefully you all will be surprised at what my main farm piece of equipment is gonna be for a while. My yeah. So we will be right back with you momentarily. Welcome back everybody. Well, here we are back on Maple Farm and I have got all of my stuff that I feel that I need for right now to continue to grow this farm here on this map called Maple Farm. And so we have only $21,000 left, but I ain't worried about that. <coughs> Excuse me. We had made a lot of <laughs> tough decisions. Uh, I don't know how many times I purchased something, I sold it back, I bought something else, and then I sold that back, and then I went back to what I had bought before, <laughs> or vice versa. Yeah, I uh, did a lot of <laughs> selling and <laughs> trying to figure out what I exactly wanted to use, but... I have a lot of stuff uh, here I feel that, well I shouldn't say a lot, some of it I haven't ever used. So right here is our fertilizer lime spreader from the Jan pack, or the mods for the 4 Jan. <coughs> Something I've never used, hopefully it works well. Okay, so we are going to move on here and show you what else we have done. And what else we have laying around here? Okay, well, there is our cedar and our planter. We have a Lemkin cedar and a John Deere planter. Uh, this was a tough decision to purchase this because it's almost too wide for this map. All right, now I put down uh, Alien Jim's uh, seed and fertilizer and herbicide um, and lime huts right there and then if we go this way we will show you some more of what we have all right so I put a toolbox and a power washer right there and we have a fuel point right there and it's empty got ourselves a little transport tanker and I'm gonna give it another try at uh, what it will all do um, or water point right there and if we go back here we have a loading wagon right here that's not the loading wagon I originally purchased but it's because of the hitch I had to go with that one and you'll see why here later <coughs> alright so now we'll run over here and show you what else we got so we have a windrower and a teddy 
from a new mod from the mod hub and we have ourselves a little mower and then we have ourselves a three-point lifter in case we ever need it I don't know if I'm gonna need this trailed lifter but we'll see I got a low loader trailer right here and there's our header for our harvester <clears throat> we have a draw bar and a front lifter and our tree mulcher and there is our telehandler you saw earlier uh, we have a weight for our telehandler and a bag lifter and a shovel bucket and a pallet fork Okay, now if we go this way, um, we have our case axial flow harvester with the corn header back there. And getting this truck was a hard decision too, but I wanted to use something different. So I went ahead and bought this, this IT runner truck with uh, Raleigh Christie IT runner box bed for it and then we have a plow and a cultivator over here and then I got a roller and a stone picker and a fast bale I don't have a bale trailer yet and I put my silo right here it a uh, small multi-fruit silo I think the modder is top ace okay now I think if we go around here I think that is everything I think so except for one thing and what do you all think is my power horse for this farm <laughs> well this is going to be quite an adventure and I'm shooting for a goal to get a different power horse but this is going to be our starting power horse in this no tractor challenge and nobody has started with this type of machine also um this challenge requires you to get one animal pin to maximum capacity and on this map maximum capacity is between 750 and a thousand for each animal pin so I'm not sure as if I'm gonna take that that high so what I'm gonna do is that's why I'm gonna try and do chickens animals sheep and cows and take each one of them to maybe a hundred possibly we'll just see I don't know I could be surprised at how long it might take it might not take that long the other thing is is the challenge requires one million so I don't think we'll have problems with that but here we go everybody here is our um, power horse Our power horse is a other harvester. Yeah, it's all standard, no header for it, nothing like that. Yeah, so um, I hope that surprised you all. That is our power horse for this no tractor challenge right there. Yep. Now, let's uh, look overhead at this farm just to show you what it looks like now kind of all right so overhead here is what the farm looks like now the farmyard and we'll be shooting to get rid of the sheep pen the horse pen and the other cow barn so we'll be shooting to get rid of this and we'll be shooting to get rid of that and possibly get rid of that as well but we've got a long ways to go um yeah 
So that is what things are looking like right now. So let's go ahead and see what kind of contract we can do and show you what tricks are up my sleeve. All right, so contracts. Um, fertilizing, there's some fertilizing contracts. Plowing contracts. Spraying contracts. Uh, we don't have a sprayer. That's one thing we don't have yet. I didn't even think about a sprayer. Uh, plowing. I got a plow, but not... <coughs> excuse me. Not the way I want to do it. So, let's do to show you what we got going on here. Let's take on this uh, fertilizing contract and see how this is all going to work out. So that's for field 8. Alright, well, here we go everybody. Let's hop on our harvester with our little tricks of the trade back on the back side of the harvester. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, everybody. We got a front lifter and a draw bar on the back of our harvester here. Okay, so let's see now. Let's set our draw bar down. I don't think we're going to need that draw bar right now. Okay, now we got to hit the X one more time to make it drop the draw bar. There we go. Now, let's hook up to our spreader here. See if this is going to work. I haven't hooked this up to this thing yet, so we'll see. Oh! Oh, oh, look at that. Doesn't look normal, but hey. Okay, now. Oh. We crashed against the... cow barn there. Okay, now I want to see. Is this going to turn on? No header attached. Oh, yeah. Okay, we want to be... Ooh, okay. Might not work with this, uh... Might not work with that spreader, so we'll go to plan B here. Come on now. There we go. Now we got rid of it. Okay, so let's try this then our other plan of action here and our tactics so let's uh, let's see we probably are gonna need to have that on maybe gonna need something on there okay that is Looking up. Perfect. Okay, so now let's go hook up to that then. Alright, will that hook up to this? Let's try this here. Put our draw bar on the back of that for a minute. See what that's going to do. Oh yeah, that'll hook up there. Okay, now. Now let's uh, hook this up to that. See if this will work. This might not work because that draw bar is on there. So we'll take the draw bar off. 
Okay, it's gonna hook there. So now let's uh, move that. Oh yeah, it's not running the PTO, so we gotta take the drawbar off. Take the draw bar off here. Too many things hooked up. Oh, don't want to drop that. We just want to drop the draw bar. Let's put that there. Okay, now let's put this on. See if this will hook up. Okay, that won't hook up with that. Okay. Well, the trick of the trade, then, is it gonna... Sorry for moving the camera there. Is it gonna run it if we put that on? And it just won't have PTO hooked up. <laughs> Let's see. Quite the long train here. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, let's see. Now, we are fertilizing, I think. Fertilizing, field eight. Okay, so let's uh, get some fertilizer then. Oh, yeah, we got lots of things hooked up here. Oh yeah, that this mod, the rear axle needs fixed. <laughs> okay, now we gotta practice our backing up here. Oh man, I went r in this the wrong way. Let's go through the gate here. Turn around if we can. Come on. Go. There we go. Now let's go in and turn around. I don't like that that axle comes apart back there, but hopefully this mod gets an update soon. Oh, I missed the wrong one again. Let's see if I can get it in there. Sweet. We're filling up. I don't know how much we're going to need, but we get it filled up there a little ways. That's good for now. Okay, now that's field eight. Where is field eight at? So we got to go out of the farm here. Let's go see if this is going to work. If this ain't going to work, then we're going to have to come back and grab Telehandler to do this fertilizing contract. But we'll be able to do other things with this. Not everything will work, but... We'll get her figured out <clears throat> along the way. All right, now let's go down this way yet, and uh, we got to turn right here and then turn here I think to get down there to that field 8 lots of uh, lots of ground on this map <laughs> this map feels like it's quite large 
Okay, now, which way is going to be the best way to go? Are we going to miss that tree? No. Oh, we're going to get all kinds of jackknifed here if we're not careful. <laughs> Let's go around the trees. We want down on this other road. Oh, that other road. We could have came down through that farm. It looks like we me somehow came down through there. Here's a road right here. Now we had to go all the way down here. We have a little ways to go yet. So, Warco Entertainment on YouTube created this challenge, and also Mr. P's Live Gaming House is doing this challenge, and so is Felden. They're both also on YouTube. Okay, is this the that's field? This is seven. We don't want. Ooh, we are. Dragon in the field or something. We're stuck. We're stuck right there. <laughs> I think we're kind of high centered with the spreader. All right, now. This should be our right field here. Ho ho ho, yeah, look at them apples. We are fertilizing a field here with a harvester. Look at that. Yeah, now I'm not sure. Not sure, uh, <clears throat> how far it's spreading though. Because we're sitting kind of crooked. Not crooked, but because of the way we're attached up. <laughs> oh, this is funny. <laughs> funny, but fun at the same time. Trying to farm with equipment you never thought you'd see. You do a little farming work. Now, I might even be able to... Might even be able to do that s s set up a little bit different to where it operates better. We just got to figure out what we need to hook up to what we need to hook up. See, we're already 53% completed on the contract. We're fertilizing at 11 miles an hour, so not too bad. Probably ain't doing the best job, but we're we're moving along. See if we can get this contract done here and collect on it. This is going to be kind of interesting to see uh, how we progress through this deal. And what we end up figuring out what's going to work, what's not going to work. <laughs> but we're spreading fertilizer without the PTO hooked up. Oh, this is pretty cool. 91% completed. Yeah, I don't know what everybody's feelings are considering we have two harvesters. But again, this harvester is only standard capacity, which is pretty small. The other harvesters got the extended grain bin to it. Contract is finished. All right, let's collect on that. Sweet. All right, well, everybody. Oh, we're stuck again a little bit. Uneven terrain. 
All right, well, I think that uh, we got to end it here because we're running out of time, but I hope you all have enjoyed what you've seen here so far. And if you have, please drop us a tasty one on that like button, which is better known by myself as a cop battery and by you all people as a delicious donut. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section, and please share a box of donuts by sharing all the videos and the live streams on the channel with all your friends and family but from rusty money here on maypole farm we will see you all on the flip side have a good one.